What's, What's up, everybody? everybody? Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the episode of BNS. Come, come on. on. <laughs> she loves saying come on. That's literally our fourth take on the intro. Welcome back to another episode. I'm fucking excited to have you guys back. We have a lot of Q and A's um, from you guys on Instagram. I feel like it's time, you know. I feel like we haven't had a sit down Q and A with our it people. It is time, even though sometimes you guys ask the same question we've already answered. So if you want to see a lot of answers before. Go watch the other video. Yeah, exactly. We're not going to repeat any answers of what we've answered on Kate's channel, Blessives, ours. So, this is going to be all fresh new questions that you guys asked us. And you guys are some cheese mozos, huh? Cheese mozos? That's f First question of our QA is Who is most likely to laugh in a serious situation? Brian. Babe, you're not serious at all. There are so many though? times. That like I'm trying to be serious with Brian and like talk to him seriously and he'll just bust out a joke And I'm like bro, you're not funny and then he'll bust out another one and I'm like bro, you just sound like a dick like stop. You know what it is, bro I just feel like since I was out of a relationship for a minute I just don't like the whole confrontational conversations and I'm not used to them anymore like I literally Started like getting into the whole like ah, eh, like you know about everything every situation every conversation but with Amanda it's very like it's very like, let's talk about serious. it. Serious. Like, let's get into it's it. It's serious. So, I can't even be my funny self in this situation sometimes, but I always try. Anyway, no, because out. when I be my <laughs> funny self, he's like, babe, babe, no, stop. Like, when me and Amanda, like, have our um, arguments and conversations and everything, it just it just gets very, like, uh, uncomfortable. You're just like, fuck, like, you know, like. What do I do now? Yeah, like, the whole serious, like, you know, um, energy going around. So, yeah, I do make the jokes the most when we have our arguments and stuff like that. This question is for Amanda. Mm. How does it feel like be? how does it feel like being a stepmom? Mm. I feel like a lot of viewers, you know, they want to know, like, you know, does, does Amanda consider her, like, uh, consider herself a stepmom? So, I feel like because me and Brian are so close and obviously want, we want a future together, I do feel as if I am, like, a stepmom to Moon. I'm, I will always respect that, like, I'm not his actual mother and I always mm -hmm. will respect that, but I do, while he's with us and, like, you know, around us, I do want to be, like, a good woman figure to him and always be, like, you know, like, teaching him, learning from him and always, like, you know making sure he has like an amazing time i genuinely i love moon he's the most adorable thing in the world like literally i'll ignore brian and just go straight to moon <laughs> literally i get so mad <laughs> and then moon will <laughs> come straight to me sometimes too i do feel like i am that that figure um in his life or like starting to become that figure and especially because we're you know like trying to spend our future together i do feel like that's very important for me to do mm -hmm. and to be in his life I know she's the stepmom she needs to be in. I think that's the best feeling because I know, you know, this whole time that I was um, with nobody, you know, raising Moon, damn near myself, like, when he's with me, make that clear, when he's with me, when I would have time with him, like, I would just be on my own and stuff like that. But when I met Amanda, I feel like it was just so second nature for her to take over things. And it wasn't very, like, um, like it wasn't, like, title hungry where she was like, well, am I the stepmom? Like, this and that. Like, oh, like, like who am I to him? Like, it was never like that. She just stepped in and did what she had to do while he was with uh, with me on this side. And you know, I she, think this is the first time I've actually said I'm, I consider myself yeah, kind yeah, of no. like It's crazy, like yeah? Yeah, it's the first time I've ever officially like said that. I literally don't don't say that. I just try to be like a good woman figure in his life. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing though, like, outside of you feeling like that way, it's me verifying it, you know? Like, yeah. Like you're doing your shit, you know? And, and it's pretty amazing to see that Amanda like does more than just like, like you know, make Moon smile and, and like and like laugh. Like she's teaching him. Like I swear to God, I'll come into the room and Moon will literally be like, "Oh, what's the word? The first word you ever taught him? I think it was spider. spider. <laughs> yeah, a spider and a and a ghost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was it was d d Spooky. during. Oh, and spooky, huh? It was during the Halloween time. During Halloween, yeah. Yeah, she just teaches him a lot, you know. And I feel like um, that's crazy to see, you know, especially from a woman who doesn't have a kid herself, or like who doesn't feel, who who knows, it's not her responsibility to like, you know, raise his kid with me or be a part of his life and help out. And outside of that, even just financially, bro, like she does her part where. If Moon's hungry, like, she'll literally be like, okay, well, like, well, she'll hand me the phone and she'll be like, babe, just order anything from, from either Postmates or, babe, let's go to the store, we'll go grocery shopping. And, and our, our grocery shopping used to be, like, our day night shopping, like, for dinners. Mm -hmm. And now it's just, like, us buying, like, Moon's milk, you know, his snacks, like, what should we make him? I our, learned what he likes to eat. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. It. Whether it's breakfast, dinner, like, she's 
you know she's doing that like she's putting him into consideration in everything we do now and I think that's the most amazing part to see baby for real. I love you. And it's fun doing this Q and A's for you guys because I feel like me and Amanda get to ver like pretty much like verify how we feel about each other. Love you, baby. So this is love. <laughs> yeah, I did see a lot of people like you know um, in our Q and A boxes, basically like in a way like asking for relationship advice and etc. But I don't want to be a hypocrite. I feel like me and Amanda are very. In, in a very good position in our relationship right now but we are still new and learning with a lot of things so we're gonna try answering to the best of our abilities at the stage we're at right now advice to trying okay yeah this is hurting my head advice to having advice to <laughs> trying to okay better a... i think what he's trying advice to say is to, tr to bettering a relationship i feel like communication mm -hmm. is 100 percent the thing that can make or break a relationship because if you can't communicate, if you honestly can't express how you feel about something and you hold it in, you start to get resentment towards your partner. For sure. And I feel like me and Brian are very open to like how we feel. Like literally, even if it's the littlest thing that bothers us, we're very open about it. And yes, we might have like an attitude about it or like bicker about it, but as long as we're being communicative about it and you know, like expressing like, hey, I didn't like this. Hey, you didn't like that. Like and then fixing it that's all that really matters like me and brian can bicker but at the end of the day me and him always like come to the conclusion we're like we'll we'll apologize for who's wrong or what's wrong mm. or we'll both apologize for both sometimes me and brian do have this thing where we're like i feel like me and brian are just like kind of very similar so we both have like that little competitiveness yeah i know and so we'll like go at each other and if <laughs> one person says something the other person will say something and then yesterday we'll go, with our switch oh my <laughs> god bro it's all about it's all about understanding your faults bro like i feel like to better your relationship you have to be able to accept you know when you're wrong put your pride aside but accept it when you're wrong definitely and being able to apologize and not even just like a okay i'm sorry it's more of like babe i'm sorry because you know like that goes a long yeah. way sometimes when you argue with with your, your partner like you will he hear sorry just out of like 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 you know trying to get out of the situation or like shut the fuck up but i think it's definitely important to like express to your partner why you're wrong you know yeah that's like growing that's like a growing point and i right feel there. like if you ever say sorry or forgive someone, this is my number one rule. If you forgive someone for something or you chose to forgive that person for something, just remember that you genuinely have to forgive them like all around. That's fine. And you can't keep bringing it up in like the future because that can ruin a relationship. And that also can just like, it's just, why did you forgive someone if you're just gonna bring it up again? Like if you genuinely forgive someone, and you generally say that you forgive them like you have to like mentally already forgive them because it's just gonna mess with your own head later on and it's like messing with their head as well like if you don't forgive somebody don't say it and i do appreciate that she brought that into this relationship and taught me that, le that lesson like there's so many times where in the, in the beginning of our relationship i was like oh like irritated about something and and, and, and she was in the wrong and then she would for, she would uh, apologize and i'd be like all right it's cool but then again a week later i'd be like shut the fuck up and then bring and then like little it brings it up again. little side comments about the argument we just had and that wasn't working out for us i feel like that was really bad for us and uh i think recently uh, even up to like uh, maybe a month or two months ago like i finally like just shut it down i was like you know what if i'm if i'm, if I'm a forgiver like it's gonna be a you know because i really do and and it's just toxic you know it's like toxic traits that you have when you do that for you're sure. just playing mental games with yourself and your partner stop self-sabotaging oh yeah that's the number mm. one thing too that i think that's real in relationships like i used to be a person that self-sabotaged myself a lot yeah and i had to learn because it, it's mainly with overthinking so don't self-sabotage yourself once you get to that point where you're overthinking like you need to like calm your mind down like stop thinking that way because you overthinking is self-sabotaging yourself and your relationship. Right, Damn, who the fuck are we? Fucking therapists or what? I know. I'm, I'm your therapist. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> <laughs> We're laughing because this is a good one because we have some. Go. What's your guys' most embarrassing moment? In this relationship. Definitely. We should talk about in this one. relationship. All right, you go first. Dude, I, this happened to me and I swear to God, I thought Brian looked at me so different for the past week. I was so embarrassed that I wanted to go like back to Vegas just because I was just so embarrassed for him to even look at me. Go. So basically one night we were, we were drinking and smoking and 
I don't know what the fuck we were smoking because I usually smoke and I'm like chilling. And I think we were drinking wine and tequila. We were mixing wine. Oh, yeah, we were on a sick one. We were sure. on a sick one and we were like playing <laughs> poker. And uh, like when I'm like high uh, or like faded, I don't like to be around his parents. Like I get like a kid, like when his parents are home, I'm like, oh my god, it's like mom and dad. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I do remember the time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. Right, go. Okay, so basically, I don't like when like his parents are around because I get like anxiety, like I get yeah. nervous, and I'm like, oh my god, do they know that I'm high or something? And then keep in mind, we're grown ass adults. We're grown ass adults. I shouldn't feel that way. I mean, yeah. I yeah, but like I still get that way. Like you know, like I don't want like his parents to see me that way. It's just it's just me. And then, so we were playing poker, and all of a sudden, his dad comes in. And my stomach just dropped. And I just felt, like, nauseous. And I'm, like, trying to act normal, like, trying to be normal. Brian's, like, talking to him, like, keeping him around for a minute. And I'm just, like, oh, my God. Like, basically, stop talking to him so he can leave. And then... <laughs> so he can leave. It's crazy. <laughs> basically, because I'm literally, like... Yeah, I'm yeah, feeling yeah. like I get you, I get nauseous. You, I get you. Like uh -huh. I'm just feeling nervous. And then the minute his dad walked away, I ran to the sink. And when I tell you, I projectile vomited in the sink in front of Brian. Like it was disgusting. Like I literally projectile vomited and vomited and vomited. And I was like, it I was, was like, it wasn't that cute little <clears throat> no, throw up I was and like, like a little bit projectile. Like I was. Yeah. Like yakking the fuck up, like it's like a water hose of throw up, bro. Literally, literally bro. And he was like, "What <laughs> the fuck?" But I literally had to clean the sink, and I went to bed all embarrassed. I was like, "No." You know what? I, like he thinks of me different. He you thinks I'm gross. So let me go ahead and tell the people. I did never thought of you different after, babe. I just thought it was so funny to me that you literally were so scared. My dad was gonna be like, "Are you high right now?" <laughs> She's literally dating someone from these foods, like, bro. You guys already know if you guys watch these foods, like I, I do it all. I drink, smoke, turn up. We go, we do everything. So my parents know who I am. So yeah, it was just so funny to me. But that was my most embarrassing moment. Yeah, yeah. No, no cap though. Those chunks of throw up, they were pretty big, man. Bro, Brian literally had pretty to clean big. out the sink. Like he was oh, cleaning shit. it up, and I was just, I was like, I'll clean it. He was like, No, no, no just, yeah, yeah. just don't. Fuck that. <laughs> my embarrassing moment in this relationship. Um, I'm sure you're gonna laugh when you, uh, you hear it, but. Bro, I'm sleeping while she's on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> she already does. Oh, I was sleeping too. Oh, okay, yeah, I think you were sleeping. But you were like barely, you barely No, I asleep. was asleep. Oh, for real? Yes. So, bro, I literally fart like loud as hell, bro. And I literally look at her. She wakes up too because that shit was so loud. I jump up and I run to the restroom. And we're just cracking up, bro. I'm like, fuck. No, it, you're, even, you're not even describing her right because it was way funnier okay, than go, go, that. Go, go. I was knocked the fuck out. And I just, I didn't even hear it. And I just see Brian get up and like look at me. I go like this. And I was like, what? What's wrong? He was like, you didn't hear that? I was like, what? He's like, I farted. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, and I then was... he gets up and goes about, I'm like laughing at I'm like, no, bro, you woke me up and told me that you could have just nodded. He's like, I was so scared you heard it. <laughs> bro, I was like that little girl who, who uh, farted and while she was in, making a video and she was like, did you hear that? What can I wear though? There's nothing to wear. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. I don't know what was that, guys, and I didn't do that. I'm scared. You know, at this point in this relationship, she be tweeting it, fucking, I be tweeting it whenever I need to, but yeah, nah. That point was like my first time ever farting for her, so <laughs> I was fucking scared, bro. I was like, no way. He literally woke up out of his sleep scared if I heard it. <laughs> yeah, I was like, she's never gonna eat my ass again. <laughs> How do you guys deal with the haters and the comments and the cheese pages? regarding each other so i think this question <laughs> <laughs> so you can answer this one um well honestly with me when i get into a relationship your past is your past and i don't really care don't want to know and if it comes up whatever like i don't try to overthink about it just because it is your past as long as that's not happening with us right now and it's not in the moment that's going on i don't really care to like entertain it especially with like drama she's me i'm a very like I'm very chill and I don't really give a fuck about drama and I'm very blunt too so honestly like I could give less than two shits 
who's yeah. hating on me. You guys can have your opinions about him. At the end of the day, they don't really affect me as much. I do appreciate her being the woman she has been in this relationship because it was both her dating me. You guys, everyone watching, you guys know why I say that because literally my life has been out there. It's currently still out there. You know, you can search it up and it's all bad. But, you know, one thing about her that I, I learned from her too, actually, she, she taught me this just by showing me that past is past, you know, like, like there's no reason to dwell on anything that like that happened before. And, you know, at the end of the day, it, do, it does suck when things come up from my past, you know, that get posted on media because yeah. I have to explain my dark time with her about like what happened or what type of person I was before and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, she's held it down for me, bro. Like she literally holds it the fuck down. We have told each other everything, mm -hmm. even in our, the beginning of our talking stages. We we were so bold enough to like tell each other, like, hey, you know what, like. Like we're, I'm a, I'm officially cutting off whoever I was entertaining. She's officially cutting off who she's entertaining, and we just kept it honest from the beginning. So that's why um, the cheese pages or, or whatever gets posted like never really affects us because we already know everything. Just honesty, bro. Honesty yeah. is what really helps us like move forward. Also, I think it's better in a relationship that I personally don't want to ask about the past. I don't yeah. care about your past because that's what like you dwelling on someone's past can really fuck with your head and fuck with your it's self sabotaging yeah. like it's gonna fuck with your head and gonna fuck with your relationship when genuinely like everyone's human like everyone has a past like you yeah. cannot judge someone off of their past you need to judge them by who they are now and who they are to you are you allowed to like other gender pics <laughs> This is funny because we had a very serious conversation about this before. We did. We did. And I think she's the one who brought up this conversation when we did. I did. So you go ahead and explain. So personally, I think like if it's your friend, if it's your homie, like cool. Like, you know, if they're like normal, looking normal, whatever, it's your friend. Like you could like the picture. Like I don't care. But I feel like if it's like a half naked picture of your friend or like a bikini mm -hmm. picture of a girl, I feel like that is just kind of disrespectful towards me or towards him. Like if I like the shirtless guy's picture, like I feel like that's a little disrespectful. Yeah. Just because it's like, I don't know, like that may be your friend, but like why are you liking your friend looking that way, you know? Facts. Like I feel like that's just a little, that just throws me off a little bit because I'm like, that's, that's a little weird. Mm -hmm. But like if it's like them like in a normal outfit like I don't really like them at Coachella yeah like them you're, at a you're rave. hyping up your homie you know yeah. like I get that like you're hyping up your homie like at the end of the day those are your friends but like if it's like where I think it's inappropriate like I mean they could post whatever they want but like you liking it and like you know us you know we're on social media people can see when me and Brian like stuff facts that's so, a big one too like to see to have like people see that it's a little embarrassing to your partner because i'm like okay well now people can see that you're liking this half naked girl's pic like that's a nice. little embarrassing and i wouldn't want to embarrass you like that so i expect the same respect last question of this q a is do we plan to live together anytime soon well as you guys already know the title of this video we are actually house hunting today Woo! So we do plan on living with each other and moving in very, very soon, probably by this month or next month. So we want to bring you guys along the journey with us and house hunting. Oh, yeah. Bro, we're so excited. We're going to take you guys with us to check out a couple properties today. Bro, we are on the hunt right now. So hopefully you guys can drop comments down below and let us know how we're doing with the hunt. Oh, excited. Yeah. New step in our life and I'm super excited. We're actually outside the first house. Literally, we're outside the first house doing this Q&A. So let's go. Let's show you guys. Let's get it. I just want you guys to know that, you know, make it clear right now, we are not buying any house we're looking at today or even if we get a house in the future, we need a space right now. So we're going to be leasing. Yeah, because I got a lot of shit and Brian doesn't have enough room for me in his room. Bro, I kid you not, like, I don't mind- <laughs> share a closet. <laughs> I don't mind that she's over, you know, like, that she's been staying with me for the past, like, three months and shit, but- Four. <laughs> four. <laughs> it's getting a little hectic in the room, so we have no space for her, her clothes. Literally no space. Her PR packages, like, bro, you guys gotta keep in mind, my girl is literally a fashion of a model, so she has, like, a bunch of clothes that she runs through, and, yeah, she just needs options. I mean, I look at her. I literally have no room in anywhere. <laughs> Oh, I just got my hair done. Do you guys Oh, let me get 360. 
Well, that, well, that. Oh, <laughs> baby, you look beautiful. Thank you. Thank Amanda you. hates it. It's funny because her natural hair is like kind of cropped. I don't really like this color. I feel like I'm more of a blonde, mm -hmm. but Brian likes me brown, so I was like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Brian likes me brown, <laughs> sounds crazy. Me too. <laughs> it's not that I like her brown, but I told her, like, I think that since she has like the perfect Latina look, that she needs to rock the Latina look to the max. And I think dark hair looks way better on her. I think so. You guys comment down below. We're going to put a photo of Amanda right here with the uh, blonde hair. The outside Amanda, and then now the whole That's summer the Amanda. outside Amanda. I told her, I was like, bro, ever since you uh, dyed your hair brown, like, I feel like, nah, I feel more wifey about you. Stop. <laughs> He's like, you're inside now. <laughs> <laughs> Before anything, we want to give a fast shout out to the homegirl, Julie. If you guys don't know who she is, she literally was able to get me my first home um, in Santa Clarita on this channel like way before um, I even met Amanda. So she's back today to get us a house. Come on. <laughs> Say what's up, Jules. What's up, guys? My hair. Hold on, let me face it. <laughs> Damn, that looks nice. Do I need a... Yeah, we gotta put our little shoe covers on. Shoe covers. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, if you know, you know, bro. Like, bro, they do these on sets when you when you can't go on the white sets, so you need to put these on. Oh, I know. Yeah. That's right. You got experience. You're good. <laughs> Brian would have put this on his head if you didn't tell him what it was for. Yeah, I thought it, was... <laughs> it looks like a hairnet. I definitely thought it was a hairnet, bro. I was like, what the fuck? Are we about to make some lunch lady food? <laughs> some lunch lady food. <laughs> Here, I got you. Oh, got you, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This looks clean. I got no roaches here. Nothing. This shit looks good. <laughs> and it's brand new, so you know what I'm saying? There's and no... It's brand new, yeah. No type of infection. Infection. Infection? What did he say? Oh. What's it called when they're like... The Rona? <laughs> nah, not the Rona. <laughs> not the Rona. <laughs> no, no, like, like, what, uh, like when the house has a lot of roaches. Infested? Infested! Oh he said my infection? God. He said infection. <laughs> my bad, gang. <sighs> let's do this. What do we do? Where are we going? Cool, let's start here. So, what I've noticed a lot about these new constructions is they actually don't have dining tables. Mm. They just have living room and then they have um, this little middle island and they just put the chairs right here. Wow. So it's kind of cool. Hey, if you guys think about it, not a lot of families have dinners anymore like that. They don't. They mm -mm. don't. And I think that's why it's, it's so really common um, mm. for people not to have dining tables anymore. It's crazy. This reminds me of like a dance floor. Go ahead. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I don't know why I was tripping out about this. What the what? fuck? What? Is that the microwave? This is the microwave, yeah. That's a microwave? That's oh, a that's microwave. Cool. That's really cool. Yeah, that's crazy. I feel like Brian's the type to be like, when you see something he likes, he'll be like sold. So I feel like he would look at that, be like, oh my God, I want to know. We might sign the contract today because I like that microwave. <laughs> First bedroom over here with the bathroom. Ooh. Okay, so you said it's a four bedroom, right? It's a four bedroom, yeah. It's four bed, three and a half bath. Okay. Yes. So this would kind of be like, what, babe? Like, like office area, if we were going to get this. Philly's bedroom? Yes. We are taking my friend Philly with us just because... I love Philly. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love yeah. Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, got to take my boy with me. He's been living with me for the past two years, and I can't be ditching the homie because I met a girl, you know? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. And then so, you have the garage space right here, the two-car garage. Ah, mm, the garage action. All right, all right. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. So it's two stories? It's two stories, yeah. Oh, so less. Is this a backyard? Yeah, it's kind of like a little side yard area. It's cold in here. They just actually put down the cement. Okay, okay. So this is not really like a full backyard. It's more like a patio in a way, right? Yeah, it's like a patio. We're going to bring my dog, too. Ooh. Yeah, I have a dog. He's a Pomeranian poodle. Oh, that's so Put cute. Put a photo of him right here. I have one of those, actually. What is this? The second restroom? Yeah, so this is a half bath right here. The guest bath. Yeah. And then mm. we can go upstairs. You like it? You like it? Too small, too small. Okay, okay. Yeah, like, so this is me. This is me inside. <laughs> this is me with no space. So yeah, it's a little small. This is the master. Oh, this is the master? master? Yeah, so oh, okay, this is okay. the master. And then you have the walk-in closet right over here. Walk-in closet. Let's see what this is looking like. Okay. This would just be mine. This is actually the size of your closet right now. Yeah, it is. Look, this is how I can describe Brian's closet. This is all Brian's. This is all Moon. And then I get this. <laughs> literally, that's literally, the only thing I you get. I yeah. get this. So, imagine how much space I really need. Bro, look how insane the view looks, though. Literally, Six Flags is right there. You like, can see you that high-ass Superman ride. You can see how your neighbor. Okay, see, this is this is a privacy issue. Because what if I want to be giving you back shots right back here? Back sorry, 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 sorry. Mmm, okay. Sinks. I know Brian said he wanted that. What? Oh, the dual sinks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. You guys are completely separate. You didn't want them touching each other. Look, look, look. He already picked his bathroom downstairs, didn't I he? I know. 
Look, bro, all I gotta say is I don't mind sharing a restroom with a girl, but the one thing I hate is when I pull up to my sink and I see Amanda's iron, fucking half her head with full of hair right here. <gasps> Drop a lot of hair. Well. <laughs> and then we'll go on this side and her side will be clean, bro. But she loves to use my side and make it all dirty. <laughs> so we definitely need our own restrooms. That's right, baby. You over here walking around like you're touring us? <laughs> I was like, where are you going? You been here before? Is this like the second? Yeah, area? so no, so this is like the loft area. Mm -hmm. Originally the owners could have decided if they wanted this as a fifth bedroom, but they decided not to do that and just make oh, it like a loft. Okay. It could be kind of like what you have right now, right? Like a little office kind of area, right? That's what mm, you had before. I think my, my upstairs loft area turned into like a second living room. Yeah, like a second living room. Yeah, you yeah. put like some small couches right here, a TV. So it's a washer right Oh, it's right. a nice washer. Oh, those are nice. Actually I have the same ones. Those are the ones I have. <laughs> oh those yeah, are yeah, the uh-huh. Hey, it's nice right here. Oh, hey, the laundry room looks nice. Hold on, hold on, Jules. Um, we want to test something out here. <laughs> what? Babe, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Should I leave I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. <laughs> hey, just uh, leave the code to the padlock. We got you. We'll let you know what we're doing. <laughs> so, I would say this would be Amanda's closet, and this would be, no, no, Amanda's closet, and this would be Moon's room, right? Mm-hmm. Let's see how Moon's room be like here. Honestly, it's not too bad. This is the other room right here, the little corner view. Sheesh. I like everyone could see us. That's right, I got the Theos right there well, clocked in. Like the Theos could see us. Oh yeah, no, no. They're for sure gonna be like, look, that's that hot ass girl right there living in the new house. Oh my God. <laughs> How do you feel about the house? Are you taking it? Um, I think it's cute, mm -hmm. but I do think it's a little small for everything we're gonna like do and have. So mm. I feel like I want like a I want a bigger like living room so that we could have like you know family over, there like Thanksgiving dinners and stuff like that. See like there's no dining area here, so like literally where the fuck would we all sit? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm sold on it. I like it. You like anything? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> like if I didn't have my son in my life, if Philly wasn't moving in, I feel like it'd be cool. If so it was basically, just me and you. if you just lived by yourself, then you would love it. No, with you, I think it'd be cool. But we definitely need a lot more space yeah, in this for sure. We need a lot more space. All right, but we do have one more location um, that we're gonna go look at for this video. And again, guys, you guys are part of the family BNS fam. So I want you guys to comment down below and let us know like what you guys think about this house, the other house. Like, which one should we take? Like, should we even consider it? You know what I'm saying? So let us know. We're at the second house. <laughs> uh, it says construction only, so we're gonna take a little hike up there. <laughs> oh yeah, construction going on. <laughs> That's Amanda's I like this house dance. All the Theo saw that, sorry. Hey. Sorry baby. Honestly, it already looks a lot bigger, it already looks a lot better, and I'm excited. I'm excited because it, it looks a lot bigger, but we don't know what the inside looks like, so let's go check it out. You're excited for the new house, huh? Dude, ever since I got my hair, I can't stop flipping it. Literally. You know what I already like about this? It's hardwood floor. All of it. Or so far, all of it. But I like that. I love that. <laughs> yeah, so you have the first guest bedroom right here. And it has a bathroom. Like, yeah, it has a bathroom. Oh, no, we're just kidding. Closet. <laughs> oh, that's nice, though. Hell yeah. Yeah, the bathroom's over here, though. So it's right across. Damn. Okay. I'm gonna wear no shoe covers or nothing. Uh, I'm not liking the shower. Why? Wait, you're not. You're gonna act like you're showering this one. I it's might. Philly shower. Oh yeah, this is Philly shower. Are oh, you good, my boy? This is solid. You could fucking sit down and think about life right there in the shower. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. You have your pantry right oh, wow. here. Wait, wait, wait. Do they have the microwave like the other house? Uh, no. Wait, this one's oh. not. Microwave. This one's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we, you don't want it in this one? Yeah, we're not going to take it. We're, we're not going to take this one. <laughs> Does this one even have a microwave? No, this one doesn't. Has oh. an oven? Does uh, it even oven. have a microwave? Mm. How am I going to make the hot pockets? <laughs> In the oven. Oh, true. <laughs> Bro, if you guys are wondering who's keeping hot pockets in business, it's this lady right here. Bro. Stop, you've been keeping Lunchables in business. I love Do you like Lunchables? I love Lunchables, yeah. There you go, her too. Hot Pockets are, hot pockets are better though. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so. Oh, it's a three car garage? Yeah, so you can park like, one car in here, and then one behind you. Oh, damn. Wow. This car garage got space. All right, I'm really eager to look at the backyard, because as soon as I walked in, I see so much like space right here, so. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Babe. <laughs> oh, I can't even. Okay. 
Here, I got you. Let, 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 let a man take care of this right here. I got you. Ready? No way. Hey. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey, well, you seen the man work right there? You're annoying. Well, don't close it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is nice. This what? Is... Oh, shit, it's out there. I thought it was just the section right here. <laughs> so, do they do they plan to, like, put, like, imitation grass here or something? No, so usually when it comes to bees, they never come with the yard. They usually. never leave a yard. Yeah, home. they usually have to do it by yourself. If you see a new house with the yard, it's because the owner did it. Uh, That's how they do it in Vegas. This is also, this is a four bed, three bath. Four bed, three bath. Four bed, three bath. Do you know what that feels? God damn, I'm already tired. Oh, yeah. This is way bigger. Yeah. This is like, this is like way bigger than the house I have right now. You can do so much more, for sure. Well, it's like a full bedroom, basically. This will be one of the rooms? This is one of the rooms, yeah. And you got your closet. Okay. Okay. Our biggest, I guess you could say, ick about the house we live at right now is that the only way you could turn the AC down or off is if you go downstairs. Why, it's right here? Yeah. Wow. That's clutch. Fire. So it's a master, and it's kind of cool because you have this little separate. Mm. Oh look! It's a whole separate room in yep. from our room. What were we doing here? The closet. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Your closet, basically. Duh. Nice, nice. Okay. And then you have the master bathroom right here. We have another closet right here. And this could be your closet. Oh. Damn. And I awesome. just, and this give me my closet too. No, there's a lot of space in here. <gasps> <gasps> That's nice. I love that. One thing about me and Amanda have been looking for is a home that has like one of these type of bathtubs. Oh, like, bathtub. yeah, like, like you know, something like that looks like kind of like bougie in a way. Oh, yeah. looks, that looks bougie for sure. Why is this so far from that? So you could turn it on, watch it get hot, and then you could go inside. Oh. Yeah, then I gotta walk over. Feel it. <laughs> <laughs> walk over. Feel it. No, this is one of those powerful ones, so you'll feel it from over here. Oh. <laughs> Go, go, go. Damn. That looks drown. so uncomfortable. I can drown. <laughs> I can drown. Yeah? Okay, got gotcha. you. Some reinforcements. Oh, oh. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Babe, stop flipping your hair like that. You get extensions stop and you start it. flipping it crazy. You're so I annoying. I got the cool. The <laughs> Bro, I swear. Amanda, like one thing about her, she'll switch up her looks so many times to be a different person and she'll act like it too. <laughs> Tell me two right there. No, not two faces. You just have like like nine personalities. Oh, don't nine nine personalities. <laughs> All right, let's go. Go ahead. Brian is talking shit, but he knows he gets really happy about it because he looks like a new bitch every time. <laughs> Babe. Don't lie. That's crazy to say. Don't lie. But I'm not gonna lie, I'll be digging the new looks here and there. Exactly. Keep, keep, keep hey, it kind of sparks the relationship, honestly. So girls out there, if you guys are in a relationship, definitely don't switch, suggest that. switch up your look sometime, you know, your hairstyle, <laughs> Babe, your, your nails and shit. That. Why? That's not a good suggestion. No, it's not, it's not a bad one though. No, love your girl the way she looks. No, bro, obviously love her, fool. But I, <laughs> what I'm saying is like, you know, girls, if you guys want to spice up your relationship and kind of keep it interesting, like, switch it up, gang. Come on. First of all, what do you mean because you look the same every single day? Why have you switched up? Exactly. I'm the only one that spices things up. My fitted caps are different colors. So, homies, fools, <laughs> how about you guys switch it up sometimes? It's like, nothing. <laughs> she's like, she hears arguments, she's just turning the other on. <laughs> Alright, guys, the conclusion um, homies, homegirls, switch it up if you feel like you want to spice <laughs> it up. But the homies, definitely, you know, don't be asking for too much because, yeah, guys be wearing the same type of fit every day, so. Girls really be going crazy, like, with their transformation, so. I look like a whole other bitch in every video. I give it to the girls, you know? The girls win on this one. The house, how you feeling about it? I actually really like this one. Mm -hmm. I think it's a lot bigger, a lot more spacious. I think it's honestly what I was asking for. The only thing that I could say that wasn't, like, my favorite was the backyard. Yeah, I definitely agree. I feel like this house is, like, beautiful. It's, like, well planned out, like... I think the living room space is like exactly what we want. I feel like the neighborhood too is like very calm. Like literally, everyone, shh. Nothing. Damn, nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> At conclusion, this house is definitely a possibility. I Look, think so. There's another one right here too. That's what I'm saying. Second, downstairs and upstairs. Because Philly be turning shit on upstairs. 
Bro, it's so funny because Philly and Amanda be going at it because Philly, like, he's like a warm body and Amanda's like a cold body. So she gets cold really fast. And then Philly will start sweating like, when the heater's on for like more than 10 minutes. So they be going at it. Have you seen both of them going up and down the stairs, like, turning it off? <laughs> so annoying. Um, I hope you guys could drop a comment down below and let us know what you guys think about the first and second house. Um, everything is up in the air, so. Do you guys see me in this house? <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. What the f We are in the search of houses, so if you guys have any other like recommendations of properties, send us links, you know, we'll go check it out. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.